Hello everyone, I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Bo Alexander and in today's video we're going to be doing the rounds. You all seem to absolutely love my last video, so we're going to continue gallivanting through home sense and home goods in search of pieces that will both elevate and liven up your home. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram at BotoxNow. One thing I've learned about home decor is that it's an ongoing venture, and I want to help you curate a style that is uniquely your own. If you like these informative shop with me style videos, be sure to leave a comment down below so that way I know to do more of them in the future. So without further ado, let's get to shopping. So our first stop of the day is HomeSense. Let's see what they have in store for us. The first item that caught my eye was this David styled vase. This piece was located in the outdoor section of the store with all of the pottery. He was going for $19 here, but I've seen similar styles go for upwards of $45 on Anthropology's website, so definitely worth picking up if you see him. And while we're on the topic of busts, you guys don't ever sleep on Facebook Marketplace. This piece was found by my aunt on Facebook Marketplace for around $50 and I have it displayed in my home. He is absolutely stunning and completely ties the room together. I've seen this style here a few times over the past couple of weeks. These Cycladic styled bases feature that unmistakable silhouette of a face and are extremely popular at the moment. They are very abstract and reminiscent of that Jonathan Adler style decorum. This equestrian styled horse head sculpture was very reminiscent of a restoration hardware piece. It has that look of a vintage find and would look great styled on a mantle, credenza, a table, or in a bookshelf. And never underestimate the power of spray paint. This could be painted in a matte black or even a textured spray paint to transcend varying decor styles. This onyx vessel sink basin was an incredible find. Styles like this typically run upwards of a couple thousand dollars. On the Decor Loft website, they actually had a very similar piece for $4,300. I loved the live edge on the exterior and the polished inside. This unique statement piece would definitely impress guests and look incredible in a powder room. This black iron round was a direct dupe for the circlet stand from Crate and Barrel. There, they sell the large version for $60, and here it was around $24, and they did have multiple sizes that could be layered to create that maximum effect. This decorative bowl was extremely modern. I loved the intricacy of the rib design down the interior. It had a unique shape, and it could be displayed alone or with decorative spheres or moss balls as filler. Now I know I talked about these fabulous fur throws in my last video, but having used that blanket for some time now, I can absolutely say it was worth the investment. I loved the soft velvety texture and it is so weighty, it's perfect for fall and winter. It's very aesthetically pleasing and would look great draped over the arm of your sofa or even the foot of your bed. This wooden cluster of figures was part of the Shop the World collection. Now, these pieces are handmade by artisans in India. I love the organically shaped figures. I see these types of pieces often on house, but they're usually made of cast iron or bronze, so it was nice to see wood for a change. So a bit of an insider tip, you know you're shopping on a good day when you see these bad boys. These carts hold the new items that they're bringing out from the back of the store, the latest items from their shipment. Now, I'm not saying to go scour these carts, because more often than not, they are actively working to place these pieces on the shelves. So always be courteous when peering through these, because we absolutely love our home goods family and the employees that keep that place running. These OXO brand Good Grip pop containers are an incredible investment if you're into organization. They are very clean in appearance and they declutter the look of a pantry with these. Now, they are a little bit pricey here. I would check Bed Bath & Beyond as they typically have assorted packs which would be much more cost efficient, especially with an additional 20% off coupon, whereas these here at HomeSense are singled and sold individually. I see these Pew Bell pillows at Home Goods and Home Sense from time to time. This here is the Matelassé chevron pattern. Now, I have these on my bed. I have the matching coverlet as well. These Euro Shams, though, guys, they are beyond. They're a fine linen brand that's made in Portugal. It's 100% cotton. My only wish was that the pillows were down filled, but that's something that could easily be swapped out at a later time. 
This marble, mortar, and pestle is definitely a piece worth having as an accent on your countertop. It's made of a sturdy and durable material, it's visually appealing, but also an elegant and useful kitchen tool. Similar styles at Crate & Barrel will run at least $30. There were actually two of these console tables here at HomeSense, and they reminded me of the Pottery Barn Tanner console table in nickel finish. I myself like to incorporate modern accents into my home to counterbalance the more traditional elements that I've acquired, and a streamlined piece like this would be perfect for displaying books and other home decor accents, and they were only $399 each. This was a dupe of the mid-century cabinet from West Elm, which retails for $549. And between you and I, I appreciate the choice of gray toned wood on this piece. Here at HomeSense, this cabinet would set you back a fraction of what you'd pay at West Elm. Cognac colored leather may not be my immediate go-to, but the attention to detail in the Beretta leather of this Regina Andrews sofa did not go unnoticed. This piece would be a perfect contemporary addition to a home, and similar styles from this brand retail for a minimum of $6,250. This piece emulated the same look of the Jake Leather Love Seat from Pottery Barn, which sells for the same price. It is a very chic silhouette that could transcend mid-century, boho, and minimalistic decor styles, but not every piece here is less expensive than the luxury retailers, so always do your research first. It dawned on me after uploading my previous shop with me that not everyone may have had the opportunity to see the vastness of the furniture selection at a home sense, as they're not nearly as prevalent as a home goods. So I did want to briefly showcase that this showroom takes up nearly one third of the entire store location and is set up similarly to a restoration hardware outlet. Black and white picture frames at HomeSense and HomeGoods retail, on average, for no more than $16.99 each. At Restoration Hardware, you will pay at least $99 to $125 for a single matted gallery frame. I purchased each of the frames of the gallery wall in my living room over a few trips to different HomeGoods and HomeSense locations. And let me know if you guys would like to see a video on how to achieve this look for a reasonable price below in the comments. Because our goal is to invest in quality pieces, why stop short of our cookware? Something I rarely see talked about is the fact that HomeSense and HomeGoods carry all clad pots and pans. This 12-inch pan alone retails for over $40 more elsewhere. Circling back to marble kitchen decor, this cutting board is a great way to save your countertops. For $16.99, you can use it not only to prep food on, but also as a charcuterie platter or as a resting place for drinks that may be acidic. In my area, we're extremely lucky to have a home goods location less than 25 feet away from HomeSense. I'm not sure if you're Team Steamer or Team Iron, but the efficiency of a handheld steamer is greatly appreciated in my home. I've had my eye on these Rowenta Excel steamers for quite some time, and at $39.99 they were much less expensive than they are at retail for $63. It was a shipment day here at this Home Goods too. For some insight, one of my followers who is an employee at Home Goods let me know the reason some of our locations may appear empty is purely a result of our current situation. Many ports and distribution centers were closed, and the storefronts themselves are quickly trying to play catch up, but he assured me that product is being put out on shelves as quickly as possible. That being said, the small decor accent portion of this location was lagging just a bit. I've seen a lot of these styles regularly over the past couple of weeks, so nothing here really stood out to me or caught my attention. I did like these iron cast musicians. A very sleek accent and their elongated features made them unique. On House, you can get a set of three figurines by the brand Uttermost for $189, so at $24.99 each, these were definitely an elevated look for less. These white marble chain links were a score if you happen to come across them at your store. $39.99 is a steal when you find them elsewhere like CB2 and Blue Mist for upwards of $130. I've said it before and I'll say it again, it would be an absolute crime not to see what the candle section has in store. The options were few and far between here at my location, but I have noticed they're starting to bring out more of the fall theme scents. There was quite an array of oversized wall art pieces at this home goods location. 
these six-foot canvases alone, less the painting itself, would cost way more than $149 or $179 from Michaels, and that's not even including the frame surround. To have a canvas of this size framed professionally would cost at least two to three times as much. The pillow section too was overflowing with various shades of yellow, beige, burnt orange, and other fall themed colors. So in today's haul, I did purchase just a few pieces, the first being this incredible Rowenta Excel steamer. Now, in my home, I don't like to have to actually get out the huge ironing board, start the iron, let it heat up, and do all that business. I like to just grab it and go. This Rowenta steamer heats up in 45 seconds. It's actually incredible. The brand Rowenta, in my opinion, is highly trusted. And for the price, I couldn't beat it. This piece sells for, I believe it's like $63 online, and I paid $39.99. Like, it was a no-brainer. And I was so fortunate because I actually was able to use my TJX rewards points that I had or like the little certificates that come after you spend a certain amount. I am in no way, shape, or form suggesting that you run out to your nearest store to apply for this credit card. They announce it every time that I'm in store over the intercom. And I don't know, after like a year and a half of just thinking about it, I finally weighed the pros and cons. I went online. There were tons and tons and tons of conflicting reviews. So do your research before you take the plunge. But for me, I shop there so often. That includes Marshalls, TJ Maxx, HomeGoods, HomeSense, and I think their new brand, Sierra. I actually applied for this card the first outing that I had post-quarantine because I knew it was going to be a substantial amount. And I think you also save 10% off on your very first purchase. So it's something to think about. Like I said, you know your credit profile better than I, so do what's best for you. Do your research, do your homework. I'm just always looking to save a buck wherever possible. Now the next few items I got were for my kitchen. I was extremely surprised to see the brand All Clad at Home Goods and Home Sense. I got this three quart saucepan. Guys, this retails for, it's like $85 online. And I paid $39.99. Like this was an absolute no brainer. I'm a single individual, so I'm not putting on these grandiose family style dinners day in and day out, but I did think it was a good idea to have on standby should I have a lot of guests to entertain. The next piece that I got was the four quart saute pan. And this too, I mean, this was $50. Guys, I just looked through Williams Sonoma's website and they had this for $130. That is over $80 that I'm saving in my pocket. I just didn't find it appealing to have to go spend a thousand plus dollars on a luxury set of 18 pieces. Over the past few months, I've just been able to really accumulate these pieces slowly as I see fit. And it has been so much more cost effective, as I've said. So that is it for today, you guys. I appreciate you so much. Like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this mini shopping haul. And if you'd like to see more of these informative shop with me videos and hauls in the future, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Botox now and make sure to hit that little bell notification so that you can see my videos first. Until next time, bye.